Hey, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow together with Mr. Super Supervisor's uh, rear end. <laughs> it's over here on the desk and I pushed him away many, many times, but he's not going, doing great today. So he wants to stay close to me and, well, take things off my crafting table like he's doing now. You can't see that, but he's, he's, he's fooling around. Um, yeah, I am um, a bit behind with my um, Thanksgiving uh, journal. It's ring bound. So just say hi to everybody. <laughs> He's really. <laughs> yeah, you're not feeling great, are you? So he's not doing great today. He's a bit nauseous, but yeah. Um, I think there is a, a ball hair in his stomach and he doesn't like that. But uh, like I was saying, I, I am um, a, lit, a little bit behind um, with uh, working. Off you go. Sorry, we dropped everything together now. But I'm a little bit uh, behind with working on the Thanksgiving journal. Um, it's a ring bound journal. This is the journal I haven't put on the closure the right way. I just wrapped it around very easily and quick for the video, but and this is how it looks. And I made uh, a tassel also. I'm not sure if I'm in frame and if the lighting is good. And I have received this fabric from Alex. Um, She's one of my uh, previous, well, she still can do the guest design team, whatever she wants, but she was on my design team for a few months, Alex Grafty Goose, and uh, I did send her a journal a few months ago, and she sent me this fabric from Tim Holtz and some extra goodies, and I'm, um, okay, I have to put Mr. Supervisor outside now, this is not working, but she sent me this um, fabric and yeah i really like it so i'm displaying it now on the video okay off you go nobody you have to go yes yes come yeah come on come. i'm gonna take you out so i put him out of the room but i was saying i am a little bit behind i made this tassel and there was somebody asking if um i would thought think i would think about making these and sell them in my etsy and i don't have the time that's the problem i'm having a new job i am um working uh more hours um, from home so uh, I have more travel time and I, I I don't seem to have the time to actually craft every day and also it's new so I'm kind of exhausted when I come come home it is nice but well it does um, it does interfere with my crafting time for now. So I'm not going to make these and sell them. Um, I, I simply don't have the time. Although I like making them. But, but just um, to quickly show you the journal. Because it's a long time since we crafted in it. Um, I did... Um, Put in larger rings but the trick is to turn them like this I forgot and then you can easily uh, turn the pages and this is what I got now this is the embellished book page I really like this one the tea bag with the two tags in it um, and I have a lot of things I made in this journal on video. So there is a playlist 
where I'm crafting in this journal. This is the trifold tag thingy and on the other side it's a large pocket and I included three tags on the side and on the front there's a pocket and I have these. So this is the Thanksgiving kit and that's a collaboration between me and Rachel from Rachel and Bella Crafts and she has her half in her store and I have my half in my store. Um, still have to find a spot for this one. Made a large tag with one of the freebie frames. Um, yeah. So this is what we got and what I was planning to do. I had this, I made these two fabric clusters and I also made a little folder flippy thingy. I have a template, uh, a free template in the Facebook group on how to make these. So you can download these. I have different designs with um, one with music, one with roses, one with blue roses, pink roses. I have one with, uh, I think it's some sort of baroque um, printing uh, different kinds and the the photo frames the slide windows this this one these ones are also uh, freebies in the Facebook group so just so you know um, but and I also sorry I was explaining what I had and I also had an embossed envelope which turned out really cool um, so I have this one and I made a little folder thingy uh, from some packaging and it's actually I made a, a, a journal from it before uh, with a collage tear pages part one and part two there's a video on that but this thing is made from this so that's just packaging and it comes with your order uh, from Amazon or in this case, it was a Dutch uh, chain that sent me some. Um, I ordered papers, printing paper. So, but what I did was something like this. This is obviously a little bit bigger than this one. I just fold it like this and um, put it in half. And also fold it, uh, the sides, in this case, two times. I'm not going to make it, but I'm going to show you real quick how I made it. It's very easy to make. Well, I think it's very easy to make. I'm folding this side, clipping it down, and then you have a booklet. And this one is, is wider than this one, but you, this is just an example. Um, and you can also can make a smaller one and, and lower this pocket if you want to, I think. This is a very wide journal now, so probably when I would really make a journal, I would bend this one over, like so, fold this one, like so. this and I would cut this one off this piece and then fold it over again two times it 
this is not completely straight. But it would be something like this. And if this is too, too soft, I have to fold this one again, sorry. You can also fold this one, the top part, in and it makes it more sturdy. Cut off these little thingies because otherwise it will stick out, and I don't like that. But you can turn these into little booklets, or if you have larger pieces of this paper and you have multiple layers you can make a very sturdy journal I made um, a journal from it from um, I think it was full leaf journal I'm not sure of the name anymore I will try to link it down below and I also made um, collage journal from it like I mentioned before but this is actually this so when you put this under the sewing machine, of course, you first sew this part, fold it open, and then fold it in, and then fold around, uh, sew around the sides. And I even sewed in the middle on this one. And this one hasn't got the folded pocket, but this is just a little booklet I'm going to make. But this is how you can make a little booklet from packaging. Um, but what I want to do is, I saw, I'm going to clean this so I can actually work on my desk but I saw a video yesterday of uh, Keong Shotwell she's uh, from I forgot her name um, I will link her channel down below and she made a little uh, ephemera booklet holder using a um, I don't know how you call this sorry not this one, she had the one with the white strip with the, to put it into a, an ordner, we call it an ordner, I don't know how you call it, but I don't have those, I have these, but I do want to use the same sort of technique she did and include a little plastic thingy inside this um, booklet. And she did use, uh, how did she do it? Well, you have to see the video because it's very nice. <laughs> I'm not sure how she did it with the other booklet. I have to do it like this. Otherwise, I won't have a booklet. But I'm going to measure how wide it should be. I think it would be somewhere around here. Trying to fold this. Yes, this is the piece that I have to cut off, so I'm going to put it under my uh, cutter. One moment, please. To measure the height and of course I have the ugly um, script over here from the brand but I can see 
I, I will cover that up. That's no biggie. And of course, the other thing I have, this is open now and it's supposed to be closed. So I have to fix that, but I'm going to pull this in half. So it will be a booklet. And the weird thing is when you fold it, it's it's like you cut um you cut it off not straight. So maybe I did mess up the folding part. Let me check. Sliding back, I have to. There's nothing coming off. Oh yeah, I did cut. Um, I didn't cut it straight. So, and I do want to put this one in here. She did that too. And she did include some papers also. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But what I want to include is this one and the envelope. And I also want to embellish uh, it with this. Um, or this on the, on the side. I'm not sure. Yet. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to embellish this um, on the front. To make it more pretty and I have here the bits and pieces from the kit um, and I also have some book pages over here and I also have this which I really like but I also wanted to put this one on um, and just want to put in little ephemera pieces in here um, I still have this, I have these tags, envelope thingies, a pocket. First I have to ink it, so I will get my ink. And I don't know where my pages are. I do have the my pieces, but I can't find the pages at the moment. I'm not crafting every day, so sometimes there's a few days between uh, the last time I crafted and I can't find my things. I never had that before. But yeah. So I'm just inking and I might speed this up because, well, it's no use to see me ink. All the time. And since this is um, like uh, wrinkled, I am going to ink on on the paper too and I think that will be a very nice effect um, I'm going to show you I think this looks nice So yes, the video of Kion uh, really inspired me yesterday and I did, did like the video uh, on its own already because um, she's so funny to watch and I mean it in a very positive way but she she's, she, she 
she she's has, having a lot of fun crafting and she was laughing all the time and it really oh i i thought it was nice to see that she was enjoying um her crafting time and and we just were there to see <laughs> her having a great time i really like that it was a very relaxing video for me. So thank you, Kiong, for making this video. So, okay, I did ink. Um, and the other thing I want to do, I have some stencils and I want to do some stenciling. I have leaves over here. And I do also have um, sorry, I have to grab my other box with supplies. I have wild honey. Rusty hinge. I'm going to do the rusty hinge. Just have any frame. Oh, I really like this. not showing very well but it's there it's not in your face and I also want to put on a little red and I have some Christmas yeah, Christmas red thing going to use a toothbrush to put this on it really works well with a toothbrush so if you don't have uh, cannot spend all the money on the special brushes. You can also try this. Yeah, I like this. This one, and I also want to add a little bit of green. But with the green, I'm going to do some stamping and not doing stenciling. So I have to grab my stamps. Oh. I did choose this um, leaf stamp. I like 
like it. I'll just randomly placing it on the booklet. It's just a background, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So, something like this. put something on front I do like these just see too many cards I don't like this I like the, the fabric but not on the front of this cover Back this with paper. I'm going to remove it, otherwise, it will be too thick. If I can remove it, without ripping the image. Yeah, I can. I was planning to do a book page also, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add I'm making a mess, but it's going somewhere. Well, we got this on. I did back all these uh, pages with an extra sheet and put it under the scanning card but now it needs to be thinner so I'm taking it off again um, I do need to lay this on something before I glue it on let me just check what I got one of the leaves or just this I'm 
So we have this. I'm going to put this on. And I also have the cluster thing I want to sew on. I'll just check. I'm still in frame. Yes, I am. So we got this. I want to do this somewhere over here. I'm going to cut this a little bit more smaller when I sewed it on. I'm going to sew this ticket onto the cheesecloth. Let me just see. I'm going to how I am going to attach this. Oh, this looks nice too. And then I don't need to do this, so I'm not going to do that. Um yeah. I'm going to glue this on. Where's my glue? Over here. So I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, how am I going to attach this? I had it this way, I think. Something like this. But yeah, I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, I'm very tired at the moment, but I was at my brother's house yesterday and his wife and we had dinner over there and we stayed there, yeah, well, rather late. We never go home that late, but it was so nice. So, yeah, next day you're, you're kind of tired because you went to bed too late, but that's okay. I don't like this. I don't know. I don't like it. It's be like this. So we got this on the front now. I was kind of scared. I was having it this way, upside down, but I did okay. Yay. And I want to so this in the middle, I have to add something over here to, um, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to sew around this and I'm going to glue that over to this part of the, yeah, I'm going to glue it. And then I have to sew this part close but i'm also thinking to sew this part close so you can slide something in like this instead of on top so i think i'm going to do that and i'm also thinking about sewing in between so i have two separate areas where i can slide in ephemera yeah so we have this over here i'm first going to sew this and then i'm going to attach it or no no i'm changing my mind i'm going to sew this in and then i will be back and i'm also going to sew around this and then i will be back so i did sew around this piece i did sew around here and also here and i made a little notch over here and on this part too and i sewed it in i well, I managed to almost got it straight in the middle. So that's a good thing. And yes, I was going to glue this part over here. The thumb notch thingy is on the inside. So this is straight so I can put it on. Um, but first I have to cut this off because I don't like that. It's too wide. Just let me clean my desk a little because it's very messy. I'm not sure if the glue will hold on the acetate very well, but we will see. Oh, 
And of course you have this on the other side. I can't fix that. Um, it is what it is. I was thinking about putting one of the tags in here. Yeah, this looks cool. Yeah. Um, going to ink. Or does this one look better? I think this one is better. There's more color. So I'm going to put this one as a... Um, um, dashboard. I'm not sure if you know what it means, but in a ringbound journal or in a Travis notebook journal, people have dashboards where the new area starts, and they look like these. And behind, you can tuck in all the ephemera pieces. Um, And I'm not going to back it, otherwise it will be too bulky. I have to cut off a strip. Somewhere around here. So it can be in here. Come on. I know you fit because you were in here before. So, yeah, so we got this now, and over here, let me just grab the little things, these are pockets, um, oh, I have this, I have, I still have this envelope, um, but I can put this in here. And over here I can put in a larger piece, like this um, card, and I have a little postcard thingy, and also have another frame that I can put in. This one in and the other thing I have is another postcard and another journaling card and we also want to put in a strip. I like this. And I want to put in the frame somewhere. Just thinking. Might be too bulky. Oh, I have an, a frame already. Okay, so I have this. And I also had the envelope. And the flippy thing. I have this little pieces. These. Um, I want to embellish the envelope with this and put it in here. Yeah. Do I want to do it this way? I don't know. Yeah, this looks nice. Oh, 
little bit too much glue to remove it. We have this envelope. I'm not going to put something in the envelope. Maybe I can put in this page. Yeah. Here. And I want to put in this one over here. So. This one, otherwise, it doesn't fit in the envelope. So, this is in the envelope now. Put the envelope in here. Do I want to put something on here too? see what I got. I have a lot of tiny pieces over here. I also have a little bird. Yes. Let me just see. Um, I like these too. going to happen. <laughs> I have to let it sit uh, with the extra paper on the back because it's ripping the pages if I pull it loose. I'm going to sew around this. I'm going to attach it over here. I did sew around this piece and I also did sew around this piece. I'm going to glue them down on the pockets. On here and this one over here. I really like this little booklet and I like the acetate ephemera piece holder also. Oh, it got away. So yes, we have this now. I'm going to leave the bag like it is. Back side, this on the front. Um, I really like this. This came out nicely. Yeah. So, where's the journal? Under the pile of goodies over here. Let's see how I am going to. Put it in the journal. I can clip it down if I want to. I'm not sure if I want to. No, I'm not wanting to do that. Uh, but it's an extra add-on thing to this journal. Yeah, I really like this. And I can wrap it at the back. Yeah, let's do that. I 
we can close it. Should we close it at the side? I think it's prettier on the side. We have this on the front, this on the side, so this is what we got. And this little bundle is at the back side. Oh, I could have switched it over. Like so. Yeah. I do like this. Um, yeah. And I think... It will be finished. It is finished now because otherwise it will be too bulky and um, well, you have to write in it too. Uh, yes, like I said, this is ready. Um, I will do a fit through also, and I also finished the Bella Rosa journal, so I will do a fit through of that of that journal too. But yeah, this is it for today. Um, I hope you liked it. Maybe you want to subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, thank you again for watching. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.